Morning folks, I am Steve the Barman. If you haven't heard of me, I am the dude that's always known in 4M with the colourful shirts. I have been a bartender now for 19 years. 19 years, I absolutely love what I do. I started off in a pub. Um, I didn't have the, I didn't go into wines or beers or anything like that. I went straight into spirits. My thing was spirits. So cocktails was a natural progression for me. So what this foresight is all about, it's the sun, the summer's nearly here, the sun is shining. My cringe-worthy moments are when I go to parties and barbecue and the pimps and lemonade is out. I absolutely hate that. What this foresight is all about is showing you guys what you can buy from your local supermarkets to make some awesome drinks for your guests, for your parties, for, for whatever you've got going on this summer. So I'm going to do a whirlwind tour of a few cocktails. I'm going to get a couple of people up here to demonstrate a couple of things as well. So we're just going to have a bit of fun with some booze. So the first, uh, first cocktail I'm going to demonstrate is one of the world's most popular cocktails, it's a mojito. Everyone loves a mojito. It's my favourite spirit, rum. The way I make cocktails is all geared up for events. You, you've got to appreciate the event bartending is very, very different to your average pub and bar. We're suddenly confronted with two, three hundred people at a time as opposed to a little trickle of that. So all my cocktails, you might see them made differently in your local high street bar, but mine are geared up for swift service. Okay? So, mojitos. Five ingredients. That's all they are. Limes. Don't keep fruit in the fridge. If you keep the fruit in the fridge, take it out about half an hour to an hour before you want because they'll be hard. So you want nice and juicy limes. I've already pre-cut some. You want about three, lime, three wedges of lime in there. So cut it in half and then cut it into well, six, basically. One more there. Next ingredient, sugar. Who, who drinks mojitos? Do you have little bits in them? Do you hate that sugary stuff? Yeah, yeah rubbish. We don't do that. We use sugar syrup, much more consistent. You can get this in any actual booze aisle in any Tesco, Sainsbury's, it's always there with all the liqueurs. That's just sugar syrup, that's all that is, sugar and water. So you want, you've got three or four lime wedges in there, about half a shot of sugar syrup. The next magical ingredient, rum. I use, um, all my brands are tailored towards a company that I work with quite closely. In the supermarket, the best rum you could probably get from Mojitos is Havana, three-year-old. Don't go down the Bacardi route, don't go down the Tesco's own brand. It's all about quality. There's no point making cocktails with rubbish ingredients. You've got to go the extra mile. Five pounds extra a bottle for a decent spirit is well worth it. So you want about 50 ml of rum. It's a double shot. Look at that. Brad's getting Brad. Brad's like, that's mine. Mint, again, how many of you cook? Yeah. How many of you bash the crap out of herbs? You don't need to, literally. Bartenders, they'll stick mint in and then they'll muddle it. You don't need to. Gr clump of mint like that in your hand, clap. That's all you need to do. Sparkling water. I use sparkling water. There is a difference between sparkling water and mineral water. That's another foresight. <laughs> uh, but then soda water, sorry. We won't go into that. Literally half fill. Bit of ice, not too much. Take a long spoon, give it a little stir. More ice, a couple of straws. That is how quick and simple mojitos are. Who needs to do pimps and lemonade now? <laughs> Brad, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to pimp up those mojitos. And I'm going to do three on the fly here. Let's do, let's do that one. So again, same basic ingredients, limes. And what we're going to do is, we're going to do a raspberry mojito. We're going to do a blueberry and vanilla mojito. And we're going to do a passion fruit mojito. <laughs> so easy to do. Uh, right, raspberry, sugar, blueberry and vanilla. Again, these, li these little sugar syrups, you get these, there's vanilla, there's almond, there's, there's cinnamon, there's all these kinds, in the coffee aisle in Tesco's. Coffee aisle, you'll see all these little things. So I'm using vanilla there, about, tw about 15, 20 ml of vanilla. I'm gonna put some blueberries in that one. I'm gonna stick some raspberries in this one. Let's go. That's all part of your five a day. Dave, Dave's loving this right now. Normal sugar in there. And this one's going to be the passion fruit one. That's the passion fruit. Not a baby pomegranate. That's a different foresight. 
Seriously, that actually happens. <laughs> Cut it in half, passion fruits like that, you're just scooping the pulp out. Nice, sweet, tropical flavours. The thing about mojitos, you can use any kind of rum. You can use spice rum, you can use white rum. We're going to go for the blueberry and vanilla, we're going to go white rum. And then for the other two, the raspberries, we're going to use an aged rum. Okay? So again, 50 mils in there. Just going to... You don't, you don't need to muddle the blueberries because the blueberries are all infused with the rum. But the raspberries, you just want to muddle them slightly. You'll probably have rolling pins at home. You can use flat-ended rolling pins or anything like that. Just get all the juice out. Again, more mint. Don't worry about the stalks. They can go in there as well. This is cool. See, this, all this is for your Sunday afternoons, having a bit of fun with your friends and family. <laughs> Getting levered. <laughs> bit of water. Responsibly, though. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> I'm contracted to say that. There we go. Again, ice in all of those. No, I don't have any jokes, that's it. Again, little stir. And that's that. And there you go, that's pimping up mojitos. Simple as that. I'm quite a messy bartender as well. <laughs> right, who's having those? Who's having the raspberry one? <laughs> there you go, Ra <laughs> Rach is straight in there. Blueberry vanilla. And uh, passion fruit. Barman, there we go. Right, next cocktail I'm going to demonstrate. There's a bit of a funny story about this. It's a porn star martini. Hello. <laughs> use it, I use uh, coupe glasses, no, normally come in martini glasses. Again, when you're using martini glasses, chill the glass down first. And this one is going to demonstrate your shake faces. I love this cocktail, it's one of my most popular ones. Again, vodka. We're going to make three of these. So you want about 25 ml of vodka, it's one shot. Galliano, it's a vanilla liqueur. Again, all of these are available in any Tesco's, any Sainsbury's. Again, 25 ml of that. Dash of lime. You're getting ready, Steph. <laughs> Vanilla syrup, just a tiny, tiny dash of vanilla syrup. And then passion fruit juice. And that's all you need, right. So what we're gonna do now is shake faces. Every bartender, it's basically a bartender's sex face, that's what it is. Every bartender's got a different shake face. So I go very serious. <laughs> Here we got Jen, come on. Steph. Come on. You want me yeah. Right, hold it with the glass backwards, facing that way, straight down the camera. Again, that way. Give it your shake face. Go on, get it. I want it as cold as possible. <laughs> awesome, and that'll just break off. Lovely jubbly. Were they good shake faces? <laughs> I like shakes. <laughs> right, the whole thing with the martini is you don't have any ice in the glass at all. So all the ice was doing was keeping it cold. And you just, we're double straining now, so I've got a hawthorn strainer on top there. Big old tea, tea strainer there. And there you go. How long have we got? How long have we got? I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> about, about an hour. About an hour, cool. Can, can, yeah, as long as none of the speakers are drinking. <laughs> um, and there's a porn star martini. Who's having that one? Oh, I'll take it off. Yeah. Go on then, Steph. <laughs> you got six minutes, Stephen. Cool. Right, the last one is that this is a foresight in its own, this last bit. This is where you guys can make your own cocktails. Now, I'm going to talk you through a punch. Okay? A punch can be any, 
any kind of alcohol, really. It could be predominantly rum-based, but you can use vodka, you can use brandy, you can use whiskey if you want. I work a lot with Jim Beam, so you've got all their different flavours of Jim Beam. You've got Red Stag, which is cherry, you've got the honey, you've got the maple. The punch follows, every punch, every cocktail list in the, in the world basically follows the main recipe, if you like. It's, it's a one, two, three, four rule. So for any punch you make, it's one part sour, so whether that's limes, lemons, whatever you fancy, even grapefruit. Two parts sweet, that's your sugars. So we've got loads here, we've got vanilla, we've got almonds, we've got grenadine, all that kind of stuff you can get from Tesco's. It's three parts strong, which is your spirit, and then four parts weak, which would be your juice or your lemonade or, or anything like that. So when you go to these bars and you see all these fish tanks and, and jugs and fish bowls, all that kind of stuff, that's, that's the basic recipe they're following. One, two, three, four. Okay? I've got my own recipe. I absolutely, absolutely love what I do. But you guys can go away and you can recreate anything you want at home just by having a little look on the, on the shelves. You know? But the key thing with this is when, when it comes to the ju juices and stuff like that, again, there's no point buying cheap rubbish stuff. It's all the juices I use are literally all 100%. There's no concentrate in that at all. It's all 100% pineapple. There's no concentrate in that. It, so it's, it's, the better the ingredients, the better that drink's going to taste. So what we're going to do is we're going to do my rum punch. And we're going to do um, one part lime. We're going to do two parts sweet. So I'm going to use a dash of grenadine and a dash of almonds, which is orgite, French. Three parts strong. I'm going to use two parts um, dark rum. And then I'm going to use one part strawberry liqueur. Again, Tesco's have their own brand of this. And I'm going to do a tiny dash of orange juice. And we're going to have some pineapple juice. Look at the colour of that. Fill it up with ice. And here's one of my favourite glasses. Hurricane glass. It's a typical rum punch. Fill it up with ice. Again, giving this a good shake. The whole point of shaking is to get that drink as cold as possible. Okay. So a good old shake. By the way, you know, you can buy cocktail shakers in supermarkets as well. Most of them are those three-part shakers. You know, they're, they're, they're literally called a three-part shaker. They've got the little strainer in the top. We don't use them behind the bars because they're just a pain in the arse. You can't get them to bits half the time. You don't need to double strain that. Just you're using fresh ice. And the be all and end all of uh, rum punch garnishes, nice pineapple spear. There we go. And that is a rum punch. You can try that one. There you go, Don. Uh, topping, topping up from last night. <laughs> so, so that's it. That's my kind of little whirlwind tour. Again, you know, mojitos, daiquiris, all that kind of stuff. They're all based around the same thing, but you can just pimp them up. You don't need to go and buy a bottle of Pims and a bottle of lemonade and just think, yeah, that'll do. Create some memories for your friends. Be that person that puts on the most awesome party this summer. That's my foresight, folks. Smile, be chat, join for networking.